Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 22 rebuild. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Las Vegas Raiders without John Gruden. Uh, he had some pretty nice emails, boys. Pretty nice ones. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, very unfortunate for the Raiders, but in my opinion, I honestly thought John Gruden sucked as a head coach. Like, all of his draft picks were so questionable to me. First of all, I would like to say, trading away Khalil Mack for a first-round pick, oh, well, they didn't want to pay him. It's like, bro, you drafted Cleveland Farrell as his replacement. Not very good. Trade away Amari Cooper for a first-round pick, oh, they got Henry Ruggs. He's not a bad player. He's just not an Amari Cooper. And you spent a first-round pick and then drafted another position with a first round pick to replace that position. And both of those positions happened to be worse. So you lost value. I don't understand that move at all. It, it made no sense to me as a head coach whenever John Gruden did that. But also just in general, I don't think he was that good. Now there are some players that I like a lot on here. Everyone says Josh Jacobs is overrated. I think he's underrated. I don't think he's talked about enough. Derek Carr, he, he performed really well at the beginning of the season. He's Meh, right now, is that, that's what I'm gonna say. Hunter Renfro is really underrated. Henry Ruggs has really improved. Darren Waller is amazing as well. The defense is the main problem with this team. So hopefully we can fix that today. Also, if you hear this echo, I'm in my room and I also stopped using a certain mic because the mic that I used to use always used to bug out. So I'm just gonna straight up record like this. If it's too echoey, please do let me know. I would appreciate that. So let's get to the overlook of the team. Also, this is a realistic rebuild, so I will be importing draft classes. Okay, so we got Derek Carr here. Now, Derek Carr is very interesting. I want to keep him around for one, possibly two seasons. It's all based on his performance, like how I do in every other rebuild. But if your QB is most of the time not at least an 85 overall, they usually don't do anything in simulation. It's mainly about the running backs, which we have two great ones. I honestly want to trade away Kenyon Drake. I don't know what was up with this contract. Like, I why, bro? Why am I paying a second string running back eight million a year in this second year? Like, I, I just don't need you. I can pay a dirt cheap player in free agency. Um, Edwards tore the Ravens up. I'm a Ravens fan, by the way. This dude destroyed us. Same with Hunter Renfro in that Raiders game. That was very annoying. Um, should I keep? I'm gonna keep Henry Ruggs in the slot. Why is Hunter Renfro in the slot? I like Ruggs there. Okay, I guess Hunter Renfro is going to be my slot guy. And I'm going to move Ruggs there. Willie Sneed, I didn't really like you as a Raven. You were just meh. I mean, it's no benefit to cut you, so I guess I'll keep you. O-line is not the best. Richie Incognito is up there in age. Colton Miller used to be a right tackle. He's doing solid at left tackle. That's kind of the only benefit. Max Crosby is... um. Yeah, he's, he's pretty solid, actually. I thought he was like 26 years old, and I was like, eh, that might not be good for the rebuild, but actually, he's only 24. So, that's great for the rebuild. Yannick Ngakwe, ever since he left Jacksonville, it was just he's just not been it. Uh, Carl Nassib, he, he seems... I, I'm starting to think he's not very straight, guys. Not very really straight, but still. Um, Casey Hayward Jr., yeah, not going to be here for too long. Trayvon Mullen, isn't he like 24? 23, great. That's going to be our future. Trayvon Morig, I absolutely loved in the draft. This is a player I like praised in the draft. I thought he was going to go to the Bears at number 20. Obviously, the Bears traded up in the draft. The reason why I thought he was going to go to the Bears is might as well get another strong safety, best defensive player available. Why not? But um, yeah, he didn't end up going to the Bears. He ended up falling to the second round, which I was surprised about. I for sure thought he was like a mid first round talent. Yeah, he fell to the second round. Absolute steal by the Raiders, by the way. Amazing pick. And um, yeah, what I can say about this team is, oh yeah, KJ Wright's here, by the way. That's cool. I forgot they signed him. Jonathan Abram, he's a really good player. He's just, he's just so injury prone. He's so injury prone. That's such a big deal. I forgot Gerald McCoy was on this team. Just completely forgot he existed in, um, um, just completely forgot he existed in general is what I was trying to say. And yeah, this team is just, the defense is the problem. Yeah, the defense is the problem and that's it. Main, mainly the linebackers. We have decent pass rushers. How you win in Madden simulation is edge rushers and running backs. That is how you win in simulation. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say that it is time to move in to the midseason mark. So I am importing these draft classes as I always do. And whoa, I completely forgot about the scouting update. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Is there, oh, what, what do I do? 
key info. Elite equals best, great, good, solid, decent, marginal, poor equals worst. Scouting skills, physical attributes are displayed. Skills are ranked from F to A. Uh, ratings are based on how good they look for a rookie. E X, A, D, B. 80 man coverage will have an A. Okay. Okay. That This is a good scouting update, but I'm so confused. So, does the minus one on Spentler Rattler mean he's not that good? Like the minus one in the bottom? I, I don't know how to work this. I guess we'll it'll be a learning process for all of us. Probably just me, because you guys probably already found out about it. Dude, you get regions? Thank you, EA. I'm surprised. I'm genuinely surprised you pulled this off. And I think it's, yeah. So that's the new update. You no longer see their overalls. You can only see their development, which makes perfect sense. You can tell if a player is going to develop in the NFL, but you cannot tell how good they will be like starting off. Like you can't tell that. You have to evaluate it for yourself, but you can tell their talent starting off. This makes so much more sense. 20% competition. Well, no, 20% completion. I'm an idiot. I can't read. But, um, dang. That's really... On oh, day three projections? Dude, this is so much cooler. So cooler. I like this. I'm messing with this. I turned on auto... I'm going to turn on auto scouting. There's prospects. There's scouts. I got to get into this later, guys. Um, I'm going to change the auto scouting now just on camera to show you guys that i don't bamboozle myself every single time so um that is such a cool update though um other than that let's time to actually get into the midseason mark so here at the midseason mark is we have a mock draft bro this is so sick that's so sick mock draft one two we'll have a future three this is so cool oh EA, I finally congratulate you on something. That is sick. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be sucking off EA for the next three months. I know that just sounded really gay, but still. Um, top ten prospects, scouts. We got we got Charles Woodson as our DB scout. We don't need DBs necessarily. We don't need defensive ends either. Linebacker is very important. QB possibly. Um, halfback and fullback. I I don't need that scout. Uh, region breakdown, nation, west, oh, 2% efficiency boost when scouting a QB, what, this is so cool, oh my gosh, EA, I'm on my knees, give it to me, um, bye week message, blah, 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 scout college, oh, whoa, did I not turn auto scouting on, uh, I don't know, I don't know how there's, uh, I don't know how this works, I'm sorry, but anyways, manage staff, staff points. God, I'm just praising EA for all of eternity. Let's do this. Go offense, of course. I should have got a budding commander as I always should have, but I kept going into offensive line XP for some reason. But um, looking into it, three and four, third in the division, highly contested division. Just letting you know that. And um, yeah, I don't really think there's anything else to review coming off a win, 27 to 24 against the Eagles. Let's move into the playoffs. Okay, so here we are in the playoffs as we actually did not make the wild card. I thought we did there for a second. Finishing 8-9, third in the division. That's honestly realistic considering we have Chargers and the Chiefs in our division, even though we're coming off a win to the Chiefs. Still, uh, Scout College, I hate how Scout College Players is here, even though I turned on auto scouting. Kind of makes me freak out, but I can still I can still see the mock drafts, which is cool. Let's go to manage staff. Uh, let's spend these staff points here. And let's go to here, scroll all the way down. No, do not do that again. Go here, go to here once again. Got budding commander. I'll do the scheme fits. I'm good with that. The scheme fits makes, gets me more XP. That's nice. Scroll over to league, stats and awards. What do we got here, Derek Carr? Eh, eh. 26th best offense, 24th best defense. Not too surprised. Just... You know, that doesn't look like too bad of stats, but compared to everyone else, you have to compare it to everyone else. Just not that good. Top 20 quarterback is not impressive. Josh Jacobs was not that impressive either, especially in running simulation. 110 yards, 10 TDs. Pretty good overall for like a regular season, but in Madden, like people would just throw up 2,000 yards per season because it's a dominant rushing thing. Hunter Renfro had a pretty good season actually for his overall. Henry Ruggs had nine TDs. Darren Waller, very underperforming season for an X Factor. Uh, looking into the defense. What? 
Dude, that has to be a dev up. My gosh. Uh, tackles for a loss. 15 for Solomon Thomas, the first round bust. Eight and a half sacks for Max Crosby. Interceptions, two for Nick. Um, safeties, zero. Defensive touchdowns is a zero. So um, anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say that it is now time to move in to the offseason as I accidentally clicked file staff. That's going to ruin me. Here we are in the season recap as the Dallas Cowgirls beat the Kansas City Chiefs. Zeke wins MVP, and I do not see any Raiders in there for the rebuild or for the awards or whatever you want to call it. Let's look into the managed roster to see if we have any development upgrades offensively. Does not look like it at all, which is underwhelming. Defensively, KJ Wright is back up to a start of, but the problem is he's heavily regressing. He just... Like, that doesn't make any sense. How do you go up in development yet go down? I wish EA would fix that. And then um, Nick right here, yeah, do, did amazing. He had, yeah, he got star dev for having probably the most tackles in the league. 29 years old, though. Ah, he, he should have started regression. I guess they fixed the regression system. Trayvon Morick only has star dev. That's kind of what I expected. But, um... Yeah, anyways, guys, apart from that, I completely forgot to do player negotiations at the midseason mark. I knew I was forgetting something. Let's do that now. And uh, we're simulating the Mock Draft 3. That goes over the offseason as well, so that's pretty cool, I guess. I wish it would simulate a little faster. Not going to worry about that. 2021 retirements. Let's look into the AFC West, isn't it? AFC West. Jerome McCoy retires. Boo-hoo. I probably would have kicked him off the team either way. Um... Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we have here. Casey Hayward. On, I would like you on a one-year deal. That would be nice. He's going to test out free agency. Cool. Richie is no. AJ Cole. I can I can get you in free agency, dude. I can get you in free agency. I can get all you guys in free agency. I don't need you. Like, none of you guys are just useful. Nathan Peterman's the GOAT, but um, I'm not going to resign him. So let's move into free agency. So after free agency, we got Chris Godwin, Casey Hayward on a cheaper deal, Ronnie Harrison, Brandon Williams as just a Band-Aid player, Corey Bohorquez, Tyler Bass, Kyrus Barnes. What an amazing free agency for us. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is time to jump into this NFL draft. Bro, that's so stupid. I was trying to trade up in the draft for Spencer Rattler. You have Mac Jones from last year. Why is that a thing? They still need to fix that. Bro, it's so dumb. Might as well just uh, just skip to the next pick, dude. I don't know if this is the right move. Uh, Kedden, Solvis, I, I feel like this is the bust, dude. I don't... I'm drafting... Ah! Ah, dude, I don't know what... I'm so lost on all of these. I drafted him, but I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. It doesn't tell us the overalls or anything. Ah, oh, this is going to be a learning process for me. Definitely a big learning curve. Let's get to the next pick. I'm going to draft this guy. Ooh. Haskell Garrett, defensive tackle out of Ohio State, has hidden dev. I thought they would just show you the dev, but you don't get to see the overall. So, yeah. That's a yikes. So, drafting is a lot more realistic because it's a lot harder than I thought it would be. This guy is a total bust, dude. Oh, like, I don't... Ugh. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to start him over Carr just because Carr is not the future. He's just going to keep going down and down every year. He's not the future in Madden. Maybe in real life. Definitely in real life, it's more realistic to start him. I got this dude sub weapons. This Ingram guy is going to start. I don't know who this, this... Is this guy John? Yeah, Simpson's actually... Simpson's going to start. Uh, dang. I done goofed, bro. This is going to be really hard. Henry Ruggs, I want to play as my guy to punt return. Move that up there. Specialist, what do we have? No, I'm not starting Kenyon Drake as my third down running back. No wonder why he had so little yards. Brandon Williams, rush defensive tackle. Move him as my sub. Um, yeah, I think I like what I have here. Hunter Renfro is going to be there. Chris Godwin's going to be there. Yeah, I like what I have here. Hopefully the QB can get some Madden simulation god tier stats or whatever. Anyways, let's get to the midseason. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are coming off a 31-7 loss against the Chiefs. But we are 4-3 this time instead of 3-4. and four. Uh, Bye week, players ready to negotiate. Scouting, national focus. 
I will do that later, but looking into it, uh, Josh Jacobs is a definite yes back on the team, 91 overall. Boost the money by a lot. Uh, he's being picky. I don't like him. Max Crosby, 88 overall. Great defensive end for us as he resigns with the team. He's not being picky. Trayvon Mullen. These guys are getting a lot more XP, I've noticed. These guys are developing a lot faster, which is nice. Hunter Renfro. He's, uh, yeah, he's getting a contract as well. They're, I think they're developing a lot better because it's actually based on their stats now instead of just randomly giving them XP through training. Uh, Yannick Ngakwe, I'm going to give contract. He resigns. Nick, I don't know, dude. I don't know how you'll regress. Kenyon, no. Um, Brandon, no. Derek Carr, I want to trade you right now because I want to give value out of you. You're not our future QB. Let's do that. Okay, I didn't think that would actually go through. I thought I'd have to throw in a first-round pick. Derek Carr in a second-round pick gets me Braden Smith and Ryan Kelly. Our offensive line has improved tremendously. This was kind of a cheese trade, but at the same time, I desperately needed some offensive linemen. Okay, so we actually made the playoffs, finishing at 11-6. and six. I'm telling you, getting rid of Derek Carr was the right move. And for those of you saying, oh, well, he didn't have Chris Godwin at the time or Ryan Kelly or Braden Smith. Shut up. I don't care. We've moved on from Derek Carr. I'm going to manage my staff points right here and now in front of you guys. Maybe a little bit boring to you guys, but it definitely is still valuable. Going to get a cheaper cost on all these player personnel and all these offensive defensive coordinator stuff because it just makes it cheaper, makes life easier and gives a stat boost to the entire team, of course. Up that, up this as well this again and can I up this yes I can boom bam there we go got all that we got a bunch of offensive linemen upgrades there and uh 28 to 21 win coming off well coming off from the Chargers game of course and uh what do we got at these stats and awards here nice nice rookie year from Kendon uh let's go to AFC offensive player of the year I highly doubt he'll be here Defensive offense or rookie? Yes, he wins rookie of the year. That is what I needed. He was not a bust of a pick. I was right. Seventh best offense in the NFL. Ninth best defense. 3,400 yards, 30 TDs. 19 interceptions is too many. Uh, Josh Jacobs, 13 TDs. Kenyon Drake, 11 TDs. 1,400 yards for him. Chris Godwin, 1,000 yards, 6 TDs. Very rare to see a 1,000 yard season from uh, anyone, really. Blocking wise, Kyrus Barnes, not blocking wise, defensive wise, Ky Kyrus Barnes with 131 tackles. Nick with 124, Ronnie Harrison with 103 tackles for a loss, 18 for Yannick Ngakwe, and 12 and a half sacks. Never mind, I take back what I said. He is now good on the Raiders. He was not good for the Vikings. He was not good for the Ravens. He was good for the Jaguars for a little bit. Amazing season for Max Crosby, 13 sacks with 12 tackles for a loss. These both should get up to superstar after that kind of a season. Uh, go back, go to uh, interceptions here. Four for Casey Hayward, who we brought back for two years. Great to see him back on a cheaper deal. Zero safeties, defensive touchdowns, one for Trayvon Mullen and one for Damon Arnett. And uh, apart from that, guys, we are looking really, really good. So let's see if we can beat the division rivals, the 10-7 and 7 Los Angeles Chargers, to move on to the divisional round. We do it 38-35. to 35. Let's see if we can beat the 11-6 and 6 Pittsburgh Steelers to move on to the conference championship. Rookie QB, can you take us there? He does not. 35-21 to 21 is your final score. That is unfortunate, but still an amazing season, especially for the new rookie QB. So let's get to the offseason. In the season recap, the Steelers beats the Cowgirls in the Super Bowl. Alvin Kamara wins league MVP. And obviously, Kendon uh, Solvis is how I believe you pronounce it, wins Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Raiders, which is amazing to see. Scout College players, upgrade players. Let's go to adjust lineup here. And what do we got here? How does... Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm so pissed, dude. How do you win Rookie of the Year and then not get a dev up? I'm forcing this. God, this is so dumb. Look, player award, Offensive Rookie of the Year. And he, <sighs> shut up, dude. I'm giving him the dev up. Giving him the dev up, dude. By far one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Oh, you win Rookie of the Year. You win like an, a prestigious award in the NFL, but you don't get a dev up. Barkley won Rookie of the Year and got Superstar X Factor the very next year. It's so dumb. Giving him the X Factor. Josh Jacobs, I think, should be superstar, but I'm not going to tamper with this so people don't just get too pissed. Max Crosby and Yannick Ngakwe should both, both go up in development. 
Why did he go down? I did I not turn off regression? I guess I did not. Let's move up Garrett, who only has star dev. Kyrus Barnes has superstar dev now. And um, yeah, I'm going to need to turn off that dev regression thing because it's honestly really stupid and broken 90% of the time. So let's go do that now. Franchise settings and go to the development trait regression BS thing. Where is it? Breakout scenarios, del development trait regression is now off because that is super dumb and it's broken 90% of the time. So let's advance the next week to see who we have to resign. And uh, I think I resigned everyone I wanted to know. Josh Jacobs was being picky about his contract, so I will still have to resign Josh Jacobs here. And uh, looking into the players ready to negotiate, Josh Jacobs had a pretty hefty contract. Why is Jacob Eason here? I don't care, dude. Move over. Go to Josh Jacobs. Go here, up that. Give him a nice bonus to that. And he resigns. 95 overall. Can you Drake? No, I don't want your contract. Cleveland Farrell, you are a draft bust replacement for Khalil Mack and Carl Nassid, your little sus guy. Um, but um, other than that, guys, looking into it, 2022 retirements. Let's go to the AFC. AFC, where is it? AFC West? Von Miller and Brian Bulaga retire. That's cool, I guess. Doesn't really matter to me. And it's got college players, blah, blah, blah. Let's just get to free agency. So after free agency, Aaron Rodgers somehow didn't get signed. We already have our future QB. I, it's unrealistic to do that. And uh, where is the uh, league signings? Well, my signings. I got Kareem Hunt. Nobody was touching him. I got. I know I have Josh Jacobs, and I know I said it would be unrealistic, but Kareem Hunt has been a second string back with Nick Chubb, and they have been really dominant together. So I thought, why not just do it here? And I got him on an extremely cheap deal. Rodney Hudson, I got him at center. I moved Ryan Kelly to left um, guard. And then I got Zadarius Smith here on a pretty good deal, actually. And uh, league signings interesting tyree kill is a packer now scary terry is an eagle i can actually see that mm. where is uh where's Derek carr yeah i saw it earlier Derek carr is now on the minnesota vikings after one year trading away so the only thing that uh the colts got in value was half a season of Derek carr the second half season of Derek carr which isn't very good by the way and a second round pick for ryan kelly and Braden smith they got robbed and also kirk cousins is now a Bengal, so that's cool i guess what a what a switcheroo there. But uh, anyways, guys, apart from that, it's time to get into the draft. And hopefully, I mean, I guess I technically didn't draft the bus last last uh, draft because he did pretty well. So hopefully we can have a slightly better draft this time. A tackle, B block shedding. Yeah, I think this is the guy, Levanta Smith. Let's see what you got at defensive tackle. Hidden development out of Alabama, six foot four, 304 pounds. Great pickup. I like that as my first round pick. Take Tucker Samuels. Whoa, Tucker Samuels. I like this scouting update so much better that I honestly wouldn't have taken him if I saw those kind of stats. But honestly, I don't see anything else. So that was kind of a gamble. I guess I'll move him to right guard because we have a great offensive line. 90 strength and 76 speed. Pretty quick for a guard, for a center. And you're going to move him to guard. He's going to be great as a pulling guard. Great fit for the team. We're having a great draft. This Dude, this makes so much more sense. I love this so much more because there's so much more assessment to the scouting update. It's so cool. So boys, after the draft, look at this. Amazing. Tucker Samuels, 77 overall, 76 overall without the morale. Amazing pickup. Dude, this team, this offense. Uh, Kendon really got, he really got stacked up with uh, cool emails as a head coach. Someone who's way better than him. He's wearing Jay Cutler's number, by the way. Uh, Levanta Smith, solid. Solid. Surprised that it was not better than that center, though. But um, still, rating looks really good. I wish strength was in the 90s. But um, Levanta Smith... Oh, analysis on his ratings. Levanta Smith is the 48th ranked defensive tackle in the league based on his overall rating, 74, putting him at the top 22% of defensive tackles. Uh, Levanta Smith has... 50 morale, which is not currently impacting his overall personality, team player, big hitter, pre uh, predict predictable player. That's not a good. That's not a good attribute. But um, yeah, maybe we can use some depth at middle linebacker and free agency. The defense is looking solid. It's just not high in overall like the offense is. The offense is very high in overall. So I'm actually gonna hit free agency here and see what we have for middle linebackers. Raheem Mostert's here. That's cool. But um, middle linebackers. Let's see what we can hit here. Um, Jordan Hicks. Let's just sign him for the time being. 
Got Jordan Hicks here. Uh, I don't want that guy. Denzel Perryman we already had. Micah Kaiser. I'll sign Micah Kaiser as well, just for the time being. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say that it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. So boys, my recording has actually stopped. Um, my game crashed, but we're gonna be trying this round two. Players ready to negotiate, uh, looking into it. Darren Waller wanted more, Ruggs wanted more. I said maybe to Casey Hayward and, um, huh. Where's everything else? Yeah, nothing else. I don't think, I don't remember re-signing anybody. I think they all just wanted more money. And um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about that. Scout college players, whatever. And I think I'm just going to turn on, now that I got all my um, XP boosting things up and all the discounted things up, I think I'm just going to turn on auto, the auto progression for the staff points. But anyways, guys, other than that, it is time to move in to the playoffs. So here we are in the playoffs once again, boys. Finishing 12 and 5, getting better and better every single year. As we're coming off a 35 to 24 win to the Kansas City Chiefs as we are here to face the 9 and 8 Denver Broncos. That is so sick. Now let's look into the stats and awards. Just jump straight into it. Oh my gosh, he's so good. Not a bust at all. Not a bust at all. So good. Kendon Solvis, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. Never heard of him in my life until now. Offensive player of the year, he got third. MVP, he got fifth. So, so good, dude. He's just... Best QB award goes to Kendon Solvis. Dude, best QB award. If he does not get a dev up, I'm going to be pissed. Best offense, of, uh, best offense in the NFL. 22nd best defense doesn't make a lot of sense. 3,800 yards, 47 TDs, 7 interceptions. Amazing season. Josh Jacobs, nasty. 22 TDs, 14, almost 1,500 yards. Chris Godwin, 1,100 yards, 14 TDs, amazing season. Hunter Renfro with 10 TDs. Waller with 8 TDs. Pretty solid season for a tight end, actually. Henry Ruggs, doing solid. Um, looking into the defensive side of the ball, Kyrus Barnes, 141 tackles is great. Tackles for a loss, 14 for Levanta Smith, the defensive tackle out of Alabama, rookie. First round pick, six and a half sacks as well. Most sacks on team, 16 for Yannick Ngakwe, eight and a half for Max Crosby. Bro, this better get a superstar dev upgrade. Yannick Ngakwe with 16 sacks. Interceptions, four for Kyrus Barnes. Safeties on team, zero defensive touchdowns, zero. That honestly looks like some pretty good defensive stats to me. But anyways, guys, apart from that, let's see if we can beat the Denver Broncos to move on to the divisional round. My dogs are barking again, like in every video, as once again, we do win the wild card. Let's see if we can actually beat the Jaguars in the divisional. We lost in the divisional last time. Come on, we always lose in the divisional. Yes, we actually made the conference championship. Let's hop into this game against the 12 and five division rivals, the Kansas City Chiefs, to see if we can move on to the Super Bowl. S seven, nothing, seven, seven, nice. Okay, 10, seven, we're up. Probably not gonna be for long though, as just punting game, 17, seven, nice. 10, 17, do not choke Raiders, 10 to 24, 13, 24, do not choke in the second half like you always choke the second half of the season, 13 to 27 in the fourth quarter, 34 to 13, 41 to 13, pounding it on them, just like how people pound Atlanta Rhodes, still 13 to 41 is your final score as Kendon Solvis is moving on to the Super Bowl, screw Derek Carr. Here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the 10 and seven Green Bay Packers. And looking into it, boys, let's look into the roster. Better have Superstar. I'm going to force it if he doesn't. Come on. There we go. Superstar dev for Kendon Solvis. I would have forced it for sure, dude. I would have been so pissed. He's only an 83 overall without morale as he is a field general archetype, which is very rare, actually. I very, very rarely ever see those. Josh Jacobs now has Superstar dev. 22 touchdown season. Of course, he would get Superstar. Not too surprised by that. Kendon is definitely the future. Zadarius Smith now has Superstar X Factor, and I'm going to tell you what, boys. For an edge rusher, I'm sure as hell not going to give you uh, selflessness, okay? I'm going to give you, what do I want? Unstoppable Force, and then Reach Elite. Do I have Edge Threat here? No, I, I can't have Edge Threat yet. El Toro is what I'm going to give him. Yannick Ngakwe now has Superstar Dev as well, which is what I expected for his 16 sack season with 15 tackles for a loss amazing year for him i think he honestly should have had superstar x factor by now with this previous seasons he had to be hit for trayvon morig morig is actually 
It's not Morig. Um, I keep. I can't believe I mispronounced that that entire reboot. It's pronounced Merig. I can't believe I mispronounced that that entire reboot. And I'm just now realizing it. But still, amazing team. Samuel's only as star dev, and my defensive tackle only as star dev as well. I'm completely fine with that. Both great players from the draft. Now let's see if we can hop into the Super Bowl to beat the Green Bay Packers, who don't have Aaron Rodgers. Okay, what do we got? Seven nothing Packers. 10-0 Packers. We just keep punting the ball away. Come on now. Let's get the offense moving. 17-0, dude. Come on. 3-17. to That's not going to pick it up for us. Come on. 10-17. to Nice. Nice comeback. 17-13. 24-13. Okay. 21-24. 31. Oh, no. No. Oh. Oh, this is getting scary. Let's play key moments. Skip that. Okay. 34-31. Fourth down alert. Nice. Red zone. Okay. 38-34. Don't. Don't. No way! They scored! Oh, no! Oh, the very last eight seconds, they scored a touchdown. That's such BS. Oh, at least we made a comeback from 17 to nothing. Jordan Love is going to take it over us. Oh, that's so frustrating. God. Oh, so we did lose the Super Bowl. Dak Prescott wins league MVP. And I don't see any Raiders in there for the awards. Cool, I guess. Weekly awards, scout college players. I'm just going to advance to the next week. This does count as a successful rebuild because we did make the Super Bowl. Even if we don't win it, if we make it, I will definitely take that as a successful rebuild. Especially with the QB, who is a 70 overall normal dev. Now is like an 85 overall superstar. For sure going to take that. 2023 retirements. We still have one more season. Do keep that in mind. So stick around. If you have made it this far in the video, make sure you like and or subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And if you have made it this far in the video, why would you not like and or subscribe, dude? Because this video is so great so far. Like I drafted a so-called bust and turned them into a superstar. So um, let's get into free agency. Okay, massive problem. I forgot that Darren Waller existed. I completely forgot about the contracts. I do this every time. I'm going to have to offer him a massive deal to come back now. Yikes. And also, I forgot Henry Ruggs now that I'm thinking about it. Dang. Okay. And I forgot about Casey Hayward. Let's fix that. So here we are after free agency. And once again, Aaron Rodgers is not signed. I hate that. Darren Waller, I got back more money than I should have paid him. I should have just remembered it. Stephon Gilmore we got, which is a major upgrade. Henry Ruggs and James Bradbury. Secondary is great. Casey Hayward is off the team. So let's get into the fourth and final season and the final draft. Corey Rich. I'm going to take him, move him to uh, right outside linebacker. Let's see what you got here. Hidden Dev. Great to see. 89 speed. Pretty strong for a linebacker. Jumping is pretty lackluster, though. 88 acceleration is great. Change of direction. Cool. Skills. Just, I kind of went on a whim on this just seeing power moves and play recognition and finesse moves is definitely not enough to want to evaluate a linebacker but he seems to be pretty good actually so anyways guys let's move to the next pick channing wait is that channing at kendrick's hidden development tight end i thought we could just get another second string tight end one of the best players on the board why not get him in the late second round so this is the team after the draft as kendrick's is a 73 overall tight end gonna be playing second string fullback behind Kareem Hunt. Actually, I'd like Kareem Hunt to be more rotational than that. And um, yeah, that's cool. Got all that. And uh, that's nice to see. Defensively, I moved Rich out to right outside linebacker. Gonna move him to second string middle linebacker as well. And um, yeah, team looks great with James Bradbury and Stephon Gilmore as new additions at the defensive back position. Um, I'll keep Kareem Hunt at third down back. I actually like that a lot. I like his rotation there. And um. Garrett, no, Yannick Ngakwe, I'll keep him there, and everything else seems pretty good to me, so anyways guys, apart from that, I would say that it is now time to move into the playoffs, because we don't need the midseason, we don't need to resign anybody, even though I forget to do it almost every time, so let's just skip to the playoffs. Here we are on the playoffs, finishing 10-7 behind the 15-2 Chiefs, coming off a win to the Pittsburgh Steelers, here to face the 12-5 Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's look into the stats and awards here, dude, Keldon is so good. So good. What do you get this time? Not even in the race for the MVP. That's disappointing. Wait, wait. Or offensive player of the year. What? Best QB? He's ninth for the best QB in the AFC. That's hard to believe. He had such a good year, actually. Is it ma mainly based on touchdowns, probably? Yeah, fifth best passing yards. 26 passer ratings, probably what it is. Tenth best defense. Twelfth best. 
12th best defense, 10th best offense. Pretty good, pretty solid, well balanced. 3,400 yards, 32 TDs, 15 interceptions. 15 TDs for Josh Jacobs, 1,300 yards, downgrade from last season, 899 yards for Chris Godwin, 8 TDs. Who had those 9 TDs? I think it was Darren Waller, was it? Uh, yeah, Darren Waller with most touchdowns, reception touchdowns on the team. Uh, Tyrell, uh, what? How did you... You're the second string strong safety. How did you have more tackles than my starting strong safety? I don't like that. I don't like it at all. Kyrus Barnes, 100 tackles, tackles for a loss, 18 for Levanta Smith. He had six and a half sacks as well. Max Crosby, this team, this time 13 and a half sacks. Bro, Zadarius Smith is very underperforming for an X Factor, but Max Crosby and Yannick Ngakwe are just alternating seasons. He's like, hey, you want to perform good this season? He's like, yeah, it's your turn, bro. And then they'll just alternate. It's pretty cool. Interceptions, three for Kyrus Barnes. Safety's on team, one for Zadarius Smith. And his defensive touchdowns is zero. So, um, anyways, guys, apart from that, I would say it's time to move on to the divisional round if we can beat the Jacksonville Jaguars here. Let's see if we can, and we do not. Losing 29-20. Anyways, guys, that's still a successful rebuild. That was the fourth and final season. Absolutely love this team. Super cool to see Kendon develop, especially in simulation, out of USC. Never heard of him until now. Maybe we'll probably put him in the thumbnail. Rich also has superstar development, which is really cool to see. And what did the defensive... Well, oh, the tight end had superstar development as well. That's cool as well. But anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching. And once again, if you like this video, make sure you like and or subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.